Ladies and gentlemen, federal employees, welcome back. Today we're talking about the different parts of your federal retirement income that you have to pay taxes on and which parts you don't and which parts hopefully you can change a little bit to lower your taxes in retirement. If you are new here, welcome. So good to have you. My name is Dallin Haas. I'm a financial planner who serves federal employees just like you every single day. So in retirement as a federal employee, you have three main sources of income. You have your first pension, that monthly check you get from from the government for working for the government for a certain amount of time. Next, you have your thrift savings plan. You also have your social security and also the first supplement. That's kind of a bonus payment some of you get. If you don't know about the first supplement, go check out my other videos on that. So let's dive into these different income sources and see how each of them are taxed, okay? So number one, let's start with your FERS federal pension. How does that work? Well, you actually are going to owe taxes on about 95% of your federal pension. Now, when I say owe taxes, I mean 95% of it is gonna be counted as taxable income. It's gonna be added into your taxable income to decide what tax bracket you're in and that sort of thing. And the reason 95% of it is taxable, not 100%, is actually from your paychecks. You could pull out your LES right now. You can see you actually pay a small amount into the FERS retirement system every single every two weeks. You pay a little bit into the system so they actually don't tax you on what the pr proportion that you put into the system over the course of your working career. So you are going to owe tax on about 95% is gonna be included in your taxable income. Now, for those hired after 2013, you're actually putting a higher percentage of your pay into the FERS pension system. So you're actually gonna owe taxes on a smaller percentage, which is good. And I don't know exactly um, the percentage is gonna be for you, but probably about 85% of your pension is what is going to be taxable income for you in retirement compared to, let's say 95% of people retiring now that were hired pre-2013. So that's roughly. So basically, if you're retiring soon, you were probably hired before 2013. So just assume 95%-ish of your pension is going to be taxable income. And if you wanna be safe, for planning purposes, just assume 100% of it will be taxable income and you'll be pleasantly surprised when 95%-ish is counted as taxable income. So that is how your FERS pension is taxed. Now, one thing I want to make very clear is what I'm talking about right now is federal taxes, federal taxes. State taxes are completely different. Every state taxes income and retirement differently. Some do tax federal pensions, some don't. Some tax social security, some don't. Some tax your TSP withdrawal, some don't. It just depends on your state. So go check out the rules for your state, but more and more states are offering benefits for retirees, like not taxing retirement income, like especially like a Florida or a Texas. There's many, many, many states just don't, they don't have an income tax as well. So keep that in mind. The taxes I'm talking about here are federal taxes, which those taxes you can't escape no matter where you live in the country. Even if you retire abroad, you're still going to pay federal taxes. So keep that in mind. So, so far, we've talked about your first pension. The next type of income you have in retirement is your thrift savings plan. Is that income when you pull money out of the thrift taxable? Well, the vast majority of the time, yes, it is taxable unless you have Roth TSP. If you have Roth TSP, when you take money out of that account, it is tax-free, baby, right? That's the, that's the one tax-free way you can have tax-free money in retirement is having the Roth TSP or Roth IRA. I've got tons of videos on comparing should you be using the traditional versus Roth. Go check those out. But long story short, I know many of you, most of you have most of your money in the traditional TSP. And when you take money out, that money is counted as taxable income. It is not capital gains taxes. It is normal, ordinary income taxes, which is the worst type of taxes to owe, okay? It's just, it's as if you had earned that money from a job, you're gonna be paying federal taxes on that money 100%. Again, Roth TSP money, you're gonna owe 0% in taxes. For traditional TSP, that entire withdrawal amount, whatever you take out of the TSP, is gonna be considered taxable income in retirement, okay? Now, next, let's jump to the, to the FERS supplement. Now, if, again, if you don't know about the FERS supplement, I've got videos on what that's all about. Not every federal employee gets it, but some do. If you do get it, it is 100% taxable. 
that's just the rule. All of it is considered taxable income. So, so sorry that that is just how it is. Okay. So now let's talk about social security and how that is taxed for you as federal employees in retirement. And this one is one of the more complicated ones because it's not just a yes or no, it's taxed or not. It is a depends. It depends on how much money you make in retirement. So for you single filers, if you make less than 25 grand, then 0% of your social security benefits are taxable income. However, if you make between 25 and 34,000, up to about 50% of your social security benefits are going to be taxable income. If you make more than that 34, then about 85% of your benefits are going to be considered taxable income. Now for joint filers, the numbers are just a little bit bigger. Long story short, if you make less than 32,000, then your benefits are taxed at zero. If you make between 32 and 44, then 50% then of your benefits are considered taxable income. If you make more than that 30 or 44, then about 85% of your benefits are considered taxable income. So long story short, these, these numbers, these thresholds, they're low, right? So many of you as federal employees, most of you as federal employees are going to have income over those levels. So just plan on paying taxes on about 85% of your, of your social security. Now, again, that doesn't mean they're going to take 85% of your social security benefits. It just means that 85% of your benefits are going to be added into your taxable income for them to calculate how many, how much taxes you owe in retirement. So I know it's no fun to pay any taxes at all in retirement as a federal retiree. However, it's so important for you to understand what, what types of income are going to be taxable, which types aren't like the Roth TSP and long story short, go, go check out my videos on the Roth TSP and doing Roth conversions potentially. There's lots of different ways to get more tax-free income in retirement. I'm not gonna dive into it right here in this video, but go check out those other videos on taxes and the thrift savings plan so you have a better idea of how you can prepare yourself and to have tax-free income in retirement, which we all absolutely love. So I hope that is helpful. Have an incredible rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time.